Hello all, this is JC3 from Is This Real? Do you want to start your own podcast? Then look no further than Buzzsprout.com. We here at Green Hour Media use Buzzsprout, and we love the team at Buzzsprout. They are all about helping you succeed. Buzzsprout gets your show listed in every major podcast platform. Follow the link in our show notes to let Buzzsprout know that we sent you. It gets you a $20 paid Amazon gift card if you sign up with a paid plan and help support our show. Join us and over 100,000 podcasters already using Buzzsprout.com to get your message out to the world. From the Keith Winston Kyle Studios in Patterson, New Jersey, Green Hour Media proudly presents Is This Real? Tonight, we are going to tackle the Denver International Airport. What is going on? And now your host, JC3. Hey, welcome, 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 everyone, to Season 4, Episode 2. This is Is This Real? Thank you, Dad, for that intro. As usual, I'm your host, JC3. And again, as usual, I will turn my attention to my co-hosts. As so, usual. fuck off. Uh, now, Roblox to my right. Say hello, Rody. Hey, yo, yo. What's going on, everybody? How's it going? Mr. West, Mr. West, Mr. West. You have to, it's audio, Wes. Audio. Say hello. Oh, damn it. Hey. Thank you. Dad, Big Joe, how are you? Confused. <laughs> Say hello to our, our listeners. Hey, everybody out there, sit down. We're going to enjoy this one. Yes. Um, so yeah, this week, as we are on YouTube again this week, this is episode two. Uh, we just put up episode one today, so go and look at our YouTube. But this week's episode is the Denver International Airport. Now... People listening to this are going to be like, okay, why are they talking about international airport? Because as usual, as we do shit on this show, fuck off, Wes. <laughs> There's something creepy, something weird, something mysterious, something that leads into a big conspiracy about this uh, particular airport in general, which actually, we were talking about it before, could actually connect to three maybe even four of our previous episodes that we've talked about. Um, so I'm going to hand it off to you, Dad. Can you give us some a little background on Denver International Airport? Well, yeah, Denver International Airport was built in 1995. Um, it was, I think it cost $4 billion. It ran $2 billion over budget. Uh, people were wondering why they built this airport in the first place. They had Stapleton, which was you know, right there. And it was a perfectly functioning airport. I mean, they'll tell you that, you know, as time goes on, you know, they needed to improve the airport. They needed to build a bigger one. Uh, It's 33,000 square acres. And it also um, is rife with rumors about uh, underground tunnels. Um, But they're rumors. But what we can prove and what we we really want to know is – what you're seeing in front of you. And, you know, there's a lot of strange things that when you walk to the airport are very, very strange as far as, um, you know, just the entrance of the, t- of, of the place, of the, you know, um, the airport itself. Mm-hmm. And I would believe that, you know, um, Isaiah, uh, Isaiah, Jesus Christ, Joshua has a little yeah, bit on that, on what it. you see when you first enter the building. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, there is a statue a 32 foot sculpture. God damn. Yeah. It is a it's bigger than King Kong. Okay. Not is really. No. no. King Kong was 25 feet. No. What? No, no he wasn't. No. Anyway. <laughs> Again, Mr. West, sit in the corner and yeah. say hello. <laughs> Blue Mustang, <laughs> or known to the locals as Blucifer, which is kind of funny <laughs> if you ask me. <laughs> Like I said, is a giant 32-foot sculpture. It is cast fiberglass. It is of a Mustang that the owner himself had as uh, inspiration. Um, It is tinted blue and has glowing red eyes, which if anyone out there is looking at the photos of the damn thing at nighttime, it looks fucking horrifying. (laughs) Kind of creepy seeing a giant Mustang, red eyes, just like... Yeah, it looks like it looks like one of the four horsemen's horses. 
Yeah, it, like it is the, uh, one of the, the war. I think it is. Yeah, I think. Look, yeah, look at this picture, Joey. Like, tell me that's not a little bit terrifying. That is terrifying. I wouldn't want to fly out of that airport. <laughs> exactly. Anyway, a little tidbit for this, uh, tidbit. ladies. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, is that it actually killed its own creator. The fuck. Which is <laughs> why people have nicknamed it Lucifer because one, it looks terrifying and evil. And it Two, has glowing red fucking eyes. It's blue. Three has glowing red eyes. So they nicknamed it Lucifer because after it was commissioned and made, uh, before it was actually erected, the a piece of the sculpture fell down and landed on its creator and killed him. Well, fuck. Yeah. Literally. <laughs> killed by your own creation. Yep. And that creator was uh, Lewis. Goddamn Frankenstein. Really? The creator was Luis uh, Jimenez, and it was commissioned in 1992 on. Is on, for $300,000, and it was actually finally erected in 2008. Is it Jimenez or Jimenez? I'm saying Jimenez. I don't know. Jimenez. I don't know Jimenez. what kind of person he is. I'm not going to assume, and if I butchered his name, I do apologize. But anyway, um, like I said, it was commissioned in 1992 for $300,000, and it was erected finally in 2008 after the whole settlement with uh, the creator dying. And a little extra tidbit for people that want to know why the eyes are red. There's actually a legit reason for it. The creator himself put the red eyes as a tribute to his father because his father actually ran a neon sign shop back in El Paso, which he himself actually worked at as well when he was a child. Oh, that's... That's there you go. Something to terrify the locals. Uh, that, that is terrifying. I mean, you know, you just imagine you got to drive in there for a you know a red eye flight, and you know <laughs> here, here red we, eye, and here we are late at night, you know eleven o'clock. You go by the thing, and you see this fucking thing that's standing there, you know, glowing eyes at you. You know, it's a it's a little daunting. But I got a question. How about the murals that are in this building? Oh, jeez. Yo, there's some Nazis there. The, you, you have uh, you, you know murals on here of. I can't even explain half the shit that's on here. You know, people on fire, Nazis with guns, uh, children in coffins. I, well, I, I have somebody please that. help me with this. OK, so there's a theory about that. And the theory I have right here is the airport's 40 piece public art collection, most notably is colorful 28 foot wide murals by artist Leo Tanguma. It's a noter Denver. Gargoyle sculptures near the east and west side baggage claims area. The Mustang sculpture, as we said, uh, Lucifer near Pena Boulevard, are clues to a sinister influence at the airport. Alternatively, uh, alternative map that credited bad night all around. as shit. Illuminati, Freemasons, New World Order, or Nazis. So that is the theory on that. That apparently all of these. Uh, all these uh, uh, sculptures and murals either are credited to uh, Illuminati, the Freemasons that we talked about last week, uh, the New World Order, or Nazis. Which, again, uh, we... I say witches. They all witches. Witches. Yes. That's not in the clue, but... Um, <laughs> So they fucking with some black magic out there. I don't care. They they be fucking with some shit, right? Fucking West. blue eye, blue red eye. Okay, so the history on apparently this again. I have a I'm on this um, website that apparently sh uh, tells us the theory and then debunks the theory, and then it tells us the facts. Uh, so the history is like most DIA uh, Denver International Airport conspiracy theories. This one roughly parallels the rise of the internet at the time of the airport's opening, and has. Uh, been given fuel over the years by radio hosts like George Norrie, uh, TV conspiracy backer uh, Jesse Ventura, and many others. They point to Nazis or fascist imagery in Tanguma's murals. On level five of the Jepetsen terminal, the ominous and seemingly random nature of the gargoyles and the fact that the por uh, portion of the 32-foot, 9,000-pound Mustang sculpture which features glowing red eyes, interpret as reference to the four horsemen of the apocalypse. Yeah, I, I'm sorry, but you know what? I'm looking at one right here. It's got the, I'm going to tell it looks like a Nazi soldier. He's got the gun in his left hand. He's got a giant knife in his other hand. Kids. Uh, that looks like a sword. Kids are laying down, a, you know, like it looks like a, on some bricks, 
holding a teddy bear. You got people crying with dead babies in their hands. There is no way. So, there's no way that these murals should be anywhere near public view in a goddamn airport. If you look at the one, the, the chick holding the baby, does she look like a maybe a weird representation of the Virgin Mother? Yeah, absolutely. She looks like dead, she's like Mary crying over a dead Jesus. See, I, I, again, I, I don't – when it comes to conspiracies and stuff like that, and I said this before, symbolism. It's all about symbolism. These people will do whatever they got to do. And the mere fact that this exists in a fucking airport is just mind-boggling. Mind-boggling. There's not another airport in the in the country or the world that has shit like this. Wes, I'm going to put the photos up, Wes. Okay. I got it. But somehow this has to be there. And it pisses me off because if kids see this – you know, they don't need to see this stuff. The world's fucked up well, enough. You know, the, the, the funny part about that is you have stuff like this that's in, the, in an international airport, right? And in today's world, as we all know, the cancer culture, what they tried to do is they tried to take the fucking guns away from uh, uh, what's his face? The cartoon. How oh, many, you're, um, you're 70 Sam. You're 70 Sam. Sam yeah. And then you have something like this, which is hanging inside of a fucking airport. You know what I mean? Like, so why why is this okay? But you know, a cartoon shooting a a bunny is not. You know what I mean? It, it's really fucked up to think about. That's Egghead, by the way. Well, Ooh. you know, no, your seventy Sam has shot a big bunny before. So. Yes, thank you. <laughs> um, yeah. So there's there's many different murals. Like the one mural. Um, uh, what is it? It has the uh, it has. Heaven on one side and then hell on the other. I don't know if again I I I'm gonna have to look at this photo right here. Well, I got one photo in front of me now. It's a bunch of children, and in the background there's a I, I, there's a bird and it looks like a bird in a cube, but behind it is something's on fire. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, and on the very look at the very bottom of that where the, it looks like I don't know. Maybe I I want to say uh, it's a person of color or maybe an Indian. And what are they? Native can- American. Native American. And look at the fucking face on that thing. Yeah, he looks. Why like would that. this be anywhere near children? Why would this be anywhere in an airport? There's no. I don't care. Don't tell me that it's their, it's their art and everything else. It's an airport. It's a dead girl. All right, you it's want art? You go to an art. You, you you go to a gallery. This to me clearly is telling us something. There's a story that's being told here. They can beat around the bush all they want. I don't believe them. I'm sorry. Because, you know, aside from the tunnels, which we, you know, it's all a theory at this point, you know, some of it's admitted and all this other crap. This is right there. It's literally in front of you. You can see it. And it pisses me off that people are not being angry about stuff like this. We'll be back after a quick break. Hey, Ryan, I have a Sarah Palin. Ryan Donald Trump Jr. Hogs to win seal. Hey, everybody, I want y'all to check out a fellow Marines podcast. My name is Ted Nugent, and I got a call from my buddy Ryan F. Samuels, and he wants me to tell you that he's a working hard, playing all-American son of a who is celebrating God, family, country. country. Welcome to the Ryan Samuels Show, one of the top political podcasts in the United States, where we have a healthy distrust for government and mainstream media. The Ryan Samuels Show is a raw, unfiltered look at American politics. Well, let's talk about the, uh, uh, and we'll close our first segment out with this. Let's talk about the one mural that's hanging um <laughs> Apparently, it's they call it the remodeling of the lizard people's lair. Now, again, that okay. Tells- I can understand. I can understand this one. This Which one. This one looked like it's um peace, right? The one with the rainbow. The one with the rainbow. Yeah, like they yeah. look like they just de- like they defeated the Nazis and and whatnot, and they got yeah. world peace. But this this is the one that's interesting to me because it, it tails back to what we were talking about last week. So there's a mural of a plaque. That has the Freemason logo on it. Yes. And You're talking about the, the uh, dedication stone? Yes, the, but there's an actual photo of yeah, it. Yeah, it's just a picture. Hanging picture. Oh. in the, the, like, they have the the, 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 the dedication stone, stone in right. there. Right. And then they have a photo of the dedication stone. The murals are telling a story. In the actual uh, airport. airport. Why would you need that? 
Uh, apparently, this is again. This is coming from the Guardian. Um, but the the actual name of this it turns around and says the remodeling of the lizard people's lair. And Josh, don't you have a? Uh, uh, the, there was a, a photo of a lizard person inside that the yeah so you want to talk about our past episodes you could talk about lizard people like yeah. we did or the reptilian conspiracy theory and they're legit just out in the open about it here at Denver International Airport because Please check in. they're calling it the remodeling of the it's lizard people's lair but if you actually walk one of the high uh, I said highways please aisles, walkways, uh, there's a actual picture of a lizard dressed up like a human with the giant question right next to it, what are we doing? Why is that normal? I don't it, get it. It seems to be normal at this place. The only airport that has a, a um, what well, looks like an art gallery. Yeah. yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, why is that normal? Like, yeah, it, it's normal is... because in my opinion, and I'm going to just clearly my opinion, they're, they're, they're sending a message. They're sending a message here, and I'm going to go into that message when we get back from our, after break because it's kind of long, but it's going to actually tie itself in together because, again, there's something creepy going on here, and what I'm going to tell you might just tie it all together. All right, so right before we go to break, I am going to read what's on that stone, though. So that stone that has the Freemason logo on it, it says the time capsule, capsule beneath the stone or this stone, contains messages and memorabilia to the people of Colorado in 2094. So apparently this is a time, ta uh, a time, tassel, a time capsule, and under it it says uh, March 1994, March 19th, 1994, you have the Freemason logo, which is the, 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 the protractor and compass, whatever the hell you want to call With that. With the G in the middle, yeah. Yeah. And then under it says the New World Airport Commission. The New World Airport Commission. Now you guys just think about this. We'll be right back, all right? Oh, Eric, look. We are by the water, finally. Ah, uh, water. You know what you can put water in? You know what water goes great in? Right. My Is This Real Coffee mug that you can get on www.greenarrowmedia.org. I'm not going to drink that. <laughs> and welcome back from our short little break. Um, just so you guys know, again, go to our Etsy, get our mugs. We have mugs. We have an Angry Uncle mug. We have a Multimedia Mafia mug. We have a Exploring New Jersey mugs. mug, a Green Hour Media mug. We have a lot of mugs. We have hats. You see our hats. We wear hats. You see our t-shirts. We're all decked out. Dad's not wearing anything. We're all decked out in Is This Real merch. And, you know, go to our Etsy if you want to be like us. Um, so, Dad, you were talking uh, about the message or a message that you were talk, uh, uh, yeah. going to read to us. So, please. Well, not, I'm going to read a little bit of it, but right, right now I just want to... In the, in the last couple of episodes, I've been speaking to, to you guys and even asked the question last time. If you want to hide something, where do you put it? Plain sight. In plain sight. Plain sight. Okay. If you want to get a point across to somebody, but you don't want them to let you don't want to let them know what you're saying, but you want the outcome to be what you want, you put it in plain sight. You watch the you let them see this thing every day. Now, uh, Dr. Leonard Horowitz wrote a um, a uh, forward for a book called uh, Death in the Sky. Okay, and he sums this up pretty good. Now, I believe that these murals are there to tell you something and to warn you and to let you know just what they're up to. And, you know, that could be my own craziness. That's fine. But it, it comes to a point where when they do this and they deny it, they'll, they'll say, oh, it's just a mural. It's just art. Well, plausible deniability has been used by the CIA for like a very, very long time where it's not what you think. You can see it, but it's not that. It's something different, and they give you another episode, another explanation. Okay, here's a little tidbit of what Dr. Horowitz had written about these murals. Think about it this way. If you were Satan, very jealous of the creator, to claim victory over God and civilization, you would need to persuade people to follow you, choose good over evil. 
choose de- uh, degeneration and chaos over people and order. Choose terrorism and political enslavement over human freedoms. And choose poisonous drugs over natural medicine and faith healing. And those outcomes can only be achieved by informed consent. Albeit the information given is generally misinformation strewn with omissions and misrepresentations of important facts. Accordingly, the murals beautiful depict, beautifully depict a bigger picture, but as art is subject to speculation and conspiracy theories. The conspiracy, too, lends strength to the evil administration because of the plausible deniability. It is the public knowledge that plausible deniability is regularly abused by the CIA, for instance, to protect its covert interests. Agents are given information on a need-to-know basis only, securing compartmentalization of administration and the administration itself. What he's saying in the short and the long of it is, is basically, you keep putting this stuff out there and let people look at it every day. Every day. They're going to get tuned into it. They're going to be like, yeah, it's just a Nazi stabbing a, stabbing a dove or, and, you know, he's a gun in his hands, an alien Nazi. That's no big deal. It's there. But what are they really trying to say? Now, you couple that with all the other stuff that's going on around there, and it just seems to be around that area from Colorado to Utah down to New Mexico. What... What on earth is under the the ground there? What is what is going on? What if it's not from Earth? Well, that that's what I'm trying to get to. So you know, but again, we're, we're going a little ahead of ourselves here. It's basically telling people this is what's going on, and it's going to be okay, even though it's not okay. All right, and then when you when you question it, they'll say, "Well, you're a conspiracy kook. You're a nut job. You don't know anything about it." But uh, it's not what you think it is. It's art. We're gonna have uh, we're gonna have an art gallery in an airport, only one in the world. So something's a foul in the fuselage, Frederick. See, to, I, to quote the look, odd couple, I'm I'm fine if you want to have art inside an airport. I'm fine with that. It's just what the art depicts that's the problem. Right. Like you could have many different things. You could have art, and I I've seen art everywhere in just weird places. Like I've fucking seen art in an elevator before. Who puts art in an elevator? But rich people. Shut up. <laughs> but you know, it's just again, it's it's the weird, like just that the Nazi the the Nazi thing alone with the giant sword and the woman crying over a dead baby, that alone depicts just something sinister yeah if you were to, if you were going to describe that i would say these are evil entities that are coming down here or in our own backyard and basically what they're doing is they're telling you that you know evil is the way to go death is imminent i mean it's the, the thing is stabbing a dove what is the international sign of peace? A dove. I thought that was Jesus. Why is there a, a, a woman that looks to me like the Virgin Mary holding a, ba- a dead baby and crying over it? Okay. Just, Have not- we now, is that the murals trying to tell everybody, basically, you know what, this is what's going to happen? Well, on a side note, the dove is the Holy Spirit, not Jesus. Back to your topic. Well, th- th- that was almost there. Close. Well, you were in heaven, but we were just <laughs> the wrong part. I mean, you got the. Which I think you're in part. heaven now, anyway. Hey. Anyway, I yeah, higher than pigeon pussy. Hey. <laughs> Please, would you? <laughs> I gotta say, uh, for stuff like this, that I know you repeated, um, for certain episodes, and I would just like to say, how how would you word it, or what do you think about? Like we said, hiding things in plain sight or whatever, what's going on. I thought of it a different way. I don't know if maybe you can add to this or maybe you agree or disagree. Um, and you guys basically said it um, about it being, well, we all basically said it about being normal at this airport. Mm-hmm. What if this is a different way for some type of indoctrination? That's, yeah, exactly. Just But to what, though? 
It could be anything. We're, Fascism. We're, we're trying to decide it right now. There's everything from Nazis to death to all that type of stuff. What if it's some type of way of getting us to go through it, at least for the people around there and the frequent flyers, to see that stuff normally, regularly, every single day and become numb to it to the point where if those things happen... It becomes the norm. Yeah, it becomes the norm and they won't do anything about it in the future. Right. And in and, and murals like that, that's not art. They try. I feel like they're trying to turn you know. us into Marxism and, and communism and shit. Well, it, it if okay, so well, it's definitely it's definitely preaching enslavement. It's definitely preaching. There's going to be superior beings to us, and we're just going to have to lay down and take it. Fuck so that. if hold on, if you look at the Denver International Airport, it is host to nonstop service to 215 destinations amongst 23 different airlines right. through North America, Latin America, Europe, and Asia. It is the fourth airport in the U.S. to exceed 200 destinations. Mm -hmm. So it's basically top five biggest airport you in, know, the country. in the country. Well, actually, to clarify that from what I saw, it could be, I don't know if it's outdated, but uh, according to some things I found online, it's actually the world's 13th busiest airport. Well, busy is it's one of four that has two hundred uh, exceeds two hundred locations that it sends out to. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. what I'm saying. I don't know so, what, how current that is, but that's something that I did see. Yeah. So, what better way to show hundreds and thousands of people than to do it at an airport where people walk by it? I all agree. The fucking time? I, I agree. I said that from the day I saw these these murals, and I, the, you know, put that aside with the, with whatever else to say is going on there. That in itself, there's something wrong. And, you know, it's been talked now, going on for the better part of 20 years, how the United States government eventually will move its operations to Colorado. Now, just say. So that, wait, wait, you're, you're talking about the Washington, D.C. Washington, D.C., the capital the of the United capital. States. We'll pick it up and push it somewhere else? No, the, we'll, we'll now be in. I'm sorry. The Colorado area. We're gonna take it. You got the I'm Cheyenne Mountains here. there with NORAD. You would have this. Mm -hmm. The biggest airport, or one of the biggest. You have one of the biggest airport with supposedly bunkers underneath it, which we'll get to soon. Now, suppose though, suppose just suppose that this is warning us that, that somehow the government is it will be taken over, and it's going to take us into a situation where there's going to be fire and brimstone. People are going to die. But it's what is going to happen. It's the norm now, so be prepared. And what happens when that happens? If, if in fact, the government does relocate itself to the Colorado place, well, is there a bunker underneath? And if there is a bunker underneath there that can house... So are they just going to kick all them people out? Well, we don't know. We don't know what's under there. But this is just a theory that I'm throwing out there. Suppose just the, the, the bunker, and a lot of people say it, it is the biggest bunker ever built under that airport. Allegedly. Okay, allegedly. Allegedly. Now, suppose that that becomes the center of the U.S. government, and then, you know, to the west you have the Cheyenne Mountains, to the south you have Dulce Base, to the, west, to the east you would have... Uh, oh, I don't know. Um, what else is out? An, an Ohio. East? Yes, Ohio. Oh, my God. <laughs> no, I I was going a little with, little a little closer to the west side. I was going with uh, New York. No, uh, to Utah to the to the ranch. Not states, bro. Now, what if the, the what if these underground tunnels that they say now they admitted were built, but they were built for baggage. They were built for this. They were built for that, but they didn't work. So we shut them down in 2012, I think it was. So that now, so now what you're telling me is they don't work, but the tunnels do exist. So don't look here now. You don't have to look here anymore because those tunnels are here, but they're not for anything. Yeah, don't worry about the maintenance. We'll take care of it. Okay. So now we'll handle our baggage claim somewhere else, but those tunnels do exist, but they're closed down. So you don't have to worry about them anymore. Yeah, so, yeah. And if you don't worry about them anymore, people aren't going to pay attention. But and if they're not paying attention, where are these tunnels going and coming from? The theory for the th for the tunnels 
is that hidden beneath the airport's uh, underground baggage transport tunnels is a secret bunker or series of bunkers designed to house billionaires and global political elite in the event of an apocalypse. Lizard people, a.k.a. reptoids, and or evidence of aliens are also thought to be lurking down below. So, you know, Philip Schneider said that he got in, involved. Philip Schneider was a it was he worked for the government, and he also went around on a tour and he told everybody what he saw, and he said he was at Dulce Base in New Mexico, and he fought with the aliens, and when he killed one, one of them looked like a, a reptile. I can't go to reptilian route right now. That to me, that's no, just that's last season. <laughs> it just boggles my mind. I'm not saying I'm I, look again. I didn't believe it then, and I don't believe it now. I mean, maybe these aliens that they're talking about are, I don't know, looking like a, a reptilian. They look like a frog, bro. Whatever. But my point is, I don't believe that part of it, but I do believe... It sounds cute, though. I do believe there is tunnels under there. And, well, we, we know there's tunnels yeah, under there. Yeah, we know there's tunnels. There's, but there's no... what are they being used for now? That's my question. Yeah. Wait, are. are these same bunkers, like them old buildings that... Um... That they were first built and then they like they buried them. We'll be back after a quick break. Hello, nerds. Come listen to the History Nerds United podcast and let's make history fun again. We interview today's best authors, whether they are established Pulitzer Prize winners or someone debuting their first book. Let us show you that history is not a boring class you took in high school, but a place where the best stories come from. And we don't just cover history. We also love to chat about true crime, biographies, memoirs, and so much more. So head on over to History Nerds United and let us introduce you to your new favorite book and learn the story behind the story. History Nerds United. No, no. Bunkers that were specifically built underneath the airport. Yeah, but I read somewhere like in the that when the airport was first being built. That, like, I guess they, like, designed it wrong, quote-unquote. And um, instead of, like, demolishing it, like, they just buried it completely. So those uh, buildings could still be there. I mean, I've never... I mean, you could be right. I, I, I haven't read that. If they um, were buried, I don't think it would matter. There'd be nothing for yeah. them to do if it was they no, literally just no. dumped stuff on top of it. Mm-hmm. I mean, but that's that's, just, a, that's a lot of digging for a fucking building. I, that's just a waste, too. Well, you got you got to question the amount of dirt that was taken out of there, too. There was tons of dirt taken out of there, and people were questioning why, why so much dirt. You know, what's under the and a lot, of, and I think what you were talking about too. There's there was stuff under one of the runways that was since closed because it was a um, supposedly a baggage handler run tunnel or whatever i don't know but it was it's they're not telling you it's not there they're just telling you it's not used for what you think it's used for so you know i I, I, be moving tanks down there right wow i I, mean that would i don't know if i'm gonna word this right but that could be possible stuff of like misdirection and stuff like that and things like not so much hide in plain sight but it's kind of more of they can do things like how you say move the capital out there because mm-hmm. I've always been under the belief that obviously as proof from the census and stuff like that, most populated areas are obviously the West Coast, the East Coast, a little bit North and most of the South. Right. right. So if you look at the map of the U.S., Colorado, is, eh, I won't say dead center, but it's a little bit off. So to sit there and do things like underground tunnels and bunkers and stuff like that, I think would be easier and probably, well, yeah, easier to get away with because of the fact that the population is always less. Right. Like, that's always something that's been thrown out there, and there is facts, obviously, from the census and stuff like that. Um, I know for Colorado alone, it says as of 2019, there's 5.7, well, almost 5.76 million people Mm -hmm. as of 2019. But if you think about the area, how widespread and vast it is. That's not a lot, no. That's not a lot. That's like like New York City. Yeah, basically. New York City is more than that. New York City is more than 8 million people. Yeah, exactly. So, And I guarantee most of that... 
I would say a good quarter of it is probably Denver alone. Yeah, most likely. Denver, of the Colorado year, Springs. Yeah, because yeah. of the you know, attractions area. and stuff like that. But if you think of the surrounding areas with all the mass amount of space they could have to experiment and stuff like that, it right. goes back to the same thing as like Area 51. Yep. No one for miles on end, and if they even try to get close, there's more guards. And yeah, sure, that can raise suspicions, but stuff like in those areas i think it's completely possible if they were to do anything at all yeah, let I mean, alone move the capital of the u.s or whatever or just, just bunkers anything like that it just quite i just got a question what what, what what's going on what's going to happen here what 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 do they know that we don't you know are, are they in cahoots with, with with aliens are they up there are they talking to aliens do they, oh. do they know aliens exist I mean, is 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 all this connected? You know, are, are the the noises and the booms and everything else that I've been hearing in 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 in, uh, in Oklahoma recently over the last couple of years? Is that construction going on underground? Is the earthquakes that they're having in Oklahoma because of that? Because the ground is being disturbed? I know that some people tell you it's for the fracking, and that's possible. But fracking, what is going on? Are, are they building tunnels under everywhere? Well, is everything going to be connected? I'm just going to throw out a little theory here, and then we're going to take a quick break. But apparently there is a theory. Now, the uh, acronym for Denver International Airport is DIA. Right. So I'm just letting everybody know that's what it is. So DIA's location, approximately 25 miles <clears throat> from downtown Denver. Swastika-shaped like runway, configured in various Barely concealed symbols of Nazism or fascism hint at any number of sinister plots, theorists say. Also, there is a tunnel that supposedly connects DIA to NORAD nearly 100, 100 miles to the south near Colorado Springs. Okay. So just think about that real quick, guys, and we're going to come back from a little break, all right? Hey, how you doing? You like movies? We like movies. You like music? So do we. And books, and video games, and television. We are Multimedia Mafia, and we like to discuss all of those things. And we drop a new episode every single Wednesday. So come check us out, or a couple of guys from Jersey's going to pay you a visit. Welcome back from our little break here. Um, so I posed the question, not the question, but I... I did a little, uh, uh, you guys to think. You know, I, I I said something you guys for you to think about about these underground tunnels and where they could connect to. And in our research that we do, barely the the, the minimal research that we do, at least for me. Um, I got high and think. Yes, he just throws shit out there. We have found a apparently a map, allegedly, about, allegedly of the underground tunnels and how they connect. And there's a lot of interesting places that these underground tunnels go to. Um, as you'll see on the screen. Um, but for the people who can't see and just listening to us, Dad, what did you think about? That's exactly what I thought. Oh, that's exactly what he thought. It is. I'm sorry. I, I believe. I'm it. sorry. I know there's no, not, not, you know, this big evidence and everything else, but I just put... You know, whatever I see in front of me together over time, and I do believe, like, the, the, the thing I got in front of me, the map I got in front of me, it actually connects Tulsa, Oklahoma to Catalina Island, California. Mm -hmm. Okay, and it goes as far down as uh, Chihuahua, Mexico, and as far north as, I believe that's, what would you say that was, Eric? Colorado. Wyoming. So this is Texas. By the way, Eric is our resident map US map person. Uh, Texas, He's Texas, at least good Colorado, for something. Utah, Utah, I think this is Wyoming. <laughs> Wyoming. Wyoming because that's Nebraska. That's Nebraska, right. Okay, be that as it may, these tunnels are a series of they go all over the place. And and but what's funny about it is it looks like the central hub is a place called Dulce, New Mexico. I pronounce it Dulce, isn't it? Whatever. Dulce. Huh? That has been rumored Dulce. to have an underground base for years. It means sweet. But that's another show. However, that that connects 
to the Colorado airport. It connects to Area 51. It connects to uh, Carlsbad. It connects to McKin. Um, I'm sorry, uh, Hutchinson Air Force Base. It goes Roswell. all the way down to Fort Fort Stockton. Area 51 got to be up there. It go, and it goes right to Area 51. It also connects, believe it or not, um, to Taos, uh, New Mexico, which is actually the location Taos. of Jeffrey Epstein's Zorro Ranch. Apparently, there is an underground tunnel under Jeffrey Epstein's ranch in Taos. Well, that's... If, if, I wouldn't put it past it. And it also connects... And it Allegedly. Connect, if, they, if these are true, it would connect it right through Skinwalker Ranch in Utah. So, if in fact these are alien bases that are, you know, the U.S. government is in line with, and in fact, if it is all true what we see in front of us, then there is definitely something going on. Uh, again, I, I can't tell you for sure. I don't have that evidence. But with everything in front of you, the murals, the underground bases, uh, you know, the bunkers that have been built all over the country, something is a foul here. Well, my question, um, so it also, there's apparently an underground bunker right next to I mean, it goes right through it and goes to Jeff. Uh, uh, um, sorry, uh, Fort Stockton. Apparently, Jeff Bezos, the the origin of his Blue Project, and that's his. You know, in Fort Stockton. No, not he's outside of Fort of Fort Stockton. That's Texas. Yes, that's Texas, and it, the Blue, Blue Origin is the first human flight, and that location over there. Yeah, well, the guy's got too much money, and I do believe somewhere along the line, he's billionaires. Yeah, and so. I like to call them trouser stains. Sorry, folks. <laughs> That's just what I like to call them because so you to have, me, you're not. You're, you, when you get all that money, you're not helping anybody. You you want to launch yourself into space. You want to find out what's a, what's the easiest way to escape this planet. What is coming? Well, what that's what I'm saying. Coming? If you look at it like there's if, again, if you it's just it's just weird that, how the map. And you know, uh, um, I think we talked about him before. Uh, uh, Richard Branson. Uh huh. Um, apparently, he Very has. Uh, the Richard Branson Virgin Galactic. There's a uh, a a tunnel in New Mexico also that apparently that goes through a property owned by Richard Branson. So why do all these billionaires have properties that these supposed tunnels go right through? It's a good question. Like, and, you know, it goes like it's very, you know, it, it, it's. Oof. There's so many, like, it, it, it goes right into California. There's so many possibilities It goes here. all the way up into Northern California. It's, what is it, though? Like, what are the, what what's under there? Well, what are they? Looks like they're I mean? going for Seattle and digging up north that way. Yeah, depending it looks like how, they're going to Depending on how Washington. old this map is and, and, it, and if it's accurate. So I, I got to say that this, to me, this is definitely something that I would say is very, very believable coming with the fact that it goes into Oklahoma and Oklahoma and, uh, you know, these are states that have been hearing these booms for years and wow. no one can understand what they are. Well, are you list, are, you, are you reading that map too and what it says? Because it has a... Uh, um, it has an addendum on the side of it. Yeah. A key? It's a gray uh, yeah, map a you got up? Yeah. yeah. And it says uh, you have this, the circles are the subterranean bases. Right. The lines are the tube tunnels and the, the shuttle tunnels. And then there is a dollar sign. And on the dollar sign where the map is, it's uh, nuclear weapons facilities. Okay. And all these tunnels are connected to these nuclear weapons facilities. And then you have a... Well, there's three different ones. There's underground nuclear test site mm -hmm. in parentheses. Then you have the nuclear weapons facility. And then you have the uranium mining. mining sites and they're all connected yeah i in my opinion I, look i'm going to save that for the question but i do believe this is true i do believe you have i do believe i do i'm sorry this is you know I, I, again it, it's not because the map's in front of me it's because in my mind how i think when you put everything else together you know with the with the supposed uh interviews with congressmen and about how they're going to be moving the country you know what what's coming what do they know that we don't what are we privy to? You know, and I read you a little thing off the air about what Philip Schneider had said 
about what they were doing, you know, with the uh, his uh, attack on the alien or the, what, the alien would the, would be the United with the United States and the aliens working together to um, formulate some kind of poison, a toxin that's going to oh, yeah. kill all humanity. And the only antidote would be the, either the aliens or the United States government. What the yeah, fuck are we sitting I mean, in the middle of right if, now with everybody trying to force us this fucking vaccine? And if you look at it, the ha, have you seen a prominent – again, this is off, top, off topic and a complete different subject. But have you seen a prominent official, a United States official, die of COVID? Not to my knowledge, no, no. right? You have other, like, we talked about it, and again, we're, well, we didn't talk about it on air, but we talk, we're we going to talk about it in our previous day. We're going to have a COVID episode in a couple of weeks. Um, but one of the um, countries that didn't take the vaccine, his leader died of COVID. Three of them. Yes, but, so apparently these, the these Katie underground. one of them, by the way. <laughs> These underground tunnels are dubbed the secret space programs and, again, are connected to Denver Airport itself. Right. And Denver Airport is one of the major hubs for that area. And apparently, if you look at the map, there's a lot of uranium mining around Denver Airport. Well, also. uranium's always been mined out there. Out there, That's just the way it is. That's nothing new there. From just yeah. hearing all that with the key... It would make you sense know, when, why when, they when, do it all underground because you can't really expose people to like fucking. Can you imagine you see you you're just driving down the street and you just see a fucking nuke right next to you like. Well, no, I get that. I I do. I completely understand that. But why? And you're why, that's just extremely radius. Radi ra uh, radius has so much radiation. Why do you need these tunnels to connect to billionaire ranches? What's the point? I mean, they probably just know. They probably just. Trying to tap into something that we don't know at that point, and it, but it would it would make sense if you if you look at especially given with the money and how much again, like, it, like, government yeah. friends they can have it's, and stuff. It's a light connection, I guess you can call it. But if you look at what the uh, pictures or uh, the murals inside could be talking about the apocalypse and warning of us about the uh, about the apocalypse, you know that is one of the theories out there, and then with all these billionaires trying to, it's called the New Age Space Race. Yeah, they're trying to escape Earth for some reason. It's its its plausible to, 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 to try and connect it. Again, it's a very loose connection. Right. But it, it makes you think like, okay, so you have billionaires with all the money of God trying to leave Earth. And mm -hmm. uh, you know Jeff Bezos, uh, Elon Musk did it. Jeff Bezos, and I heard um, one of some other persons doing. I forgot the name of, uh, of. Well, Jeffrey Epstein actually did leave Earth. Yes, so. he's 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 into. I don't think he's in heaven, uh, but he's in a different. Plane he's of in existence. heaven. We're all showing. Yeah. Um, but it's just it's it's funny to think about how these connections to this airport well, and again, to. Uh, they got money too, Joe. You know the money. The people that have money are in league with the government. At some point, the government's going to go to them and say, "You know, what can you do to help us?" Because they don't have anything on the shelf themselves. That goes as far back as when the government was in bed with Walmart and or Wall Street. No, Walmart. Oh, Walmart. Walmart was in bed with the government. They still are at some point. Where, you know. Uh, Homeland Security basically was making commercials mm -hmm. for Walmart. <laughs> and they were shutting the down Walmart facilities and stuff like that. Walmart facilities have been shut down all over all, all over the Midwest. And then nobody's allowed to go in them. And then when they do find out, all of a sudden they're erected with barbed wire around the top of them. And it's majorly secretive. And it's the same same excuse all the time. Oh, plumbing issues. This is not something I'm making up. This is there for everybody to see. You know, oh, when, that's I, legit. when, when I see a house ones. that has plumbing issues, it, I've never seen it have barbed wire around it, you know? <laughs> well, yeah, that's true. But no, it, like I've seen 
little uh, reports. <laughs> I've seen reports of uh, Walmarts that are just abandoned and just left there. Yeah. Some of them are just used as storage space for waste chemicals and stuff like that. Yeah. It runs off into, you know, nearby areas, little lakes and stuff like that. There's been waste chemicals. Dozens of. No, no. Some of it is legit. There's been dozens of like um, documentaries about it. Allegedly. Actual Walmarts that are just empty, literally built in the middle of nowhere for no reason. Yeah. So, I mean, that I can see. And these aren't fake. This is real. This is real stuff that you can put your fingers on. Yeah. You know. So, to me, again, it all ties together. Somewhere along the line, I can't tell you exactly because, again, they're very secretive. But everything they put in my face, I can read. I can understand what they're trying to say. It's what they're trying to – when is this going to happen? And exactly what is going to happen? Well, the funny thing is they can use – even if a map like this is released and whether it's 100% accurate or not, they can just sit there and cover the tracks and saying this is the safest way for us to transport uranium mm-hmm. because of the fact that it's so toxic to us. Right. So they can probably lie about it and say this is what the original intent was. Oh, they will. And they it will. probably was the original intent, but when they mm-hmm. found that they can connect miles and miles and miles of tunnels together... The what scary, else would you be able to use that I'm for? I'm just going to call it the dancing man. The scary part for me is when like. you start introducing aliens to it. Mm. And what does the government, how long has the government been in bed? Was Roswell real? Roswell, where's that in? New Mexico. Mm-hmm. Okay. One of these con- uh, tunnels connect directly to uh, Roswell. Okay. Somewhere along the line, and to they're Chihuahua. trying to tell us something. And they're literally telling you right to your face. It's just if we're going to take the time to decode it and figure it out. But something is coming. We just don't know when or what it is. And that's the scary part. Well, I mean, it, it, it's again, it's another stretch. But if you think about it, uranium, nuclear testing, nobody has used nuclear warheads since what? World War II? That was the last time it was actually used on. It was, they never, nuclear warheads were never used at all. Oh, atomic warheads oh, atomic, were used. Okay. I thought they were the same thing. No, 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 no. Um, <laughs> um, they're really that. Wait, they're that, wait, really? Really? Yeah. An atomic, atomic one, atomic bomb. You know, I don't know. You know, whatever megaton they, ton, megaton they, motherfucker, megaton they are. We can't talk tonight. Okay, you, the, the one that hit Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Basically, if you were to drop it here, just to say, it would take out. Maybe half Manhattan, a quarter of Manhattan. It's what happens afterwards. Now, it's the when they drop off a guy, when they up. when they drop like the Russians dropped off what they call a Tsar Bomba, they tested it up in Greenland somewhere in 1963. That could literally take out all of Manhattan, parts of Jersey, and then the fallout afterwards. And then the fallout afterwards. If you ever take the, get the video of the Tsar Bomba, the biggest bomb ever tested. It would frighten the shit out of you. Well, there was a, uh, again, we're so off track here, but there was a video on um, YouTube circulating of they tested a, uh, I forgot what it was, but it was a nuclear warhead. A hydrogen bomb? Underwater. And it was like 50, 60, like it was over 100 miles out to sea. And the actual like fallout of that and seeing the water go 100 that no, no, it had to be at least. Uh, I think it said 100 to 200 feet in the air. Mm-hmm. Was terrifying looking. But uh, real quick, we're gonna take a real short break right now, and then we're gonna come back with our closing arguments. Uh, so we will be right back as Dad's playing video. All right. Sorry. Are you looking for a vinyl LP or a cassette tape? 45 RPM. If so, you've come to the right place. Golden Space. We have thousands of titles in stock and ready to ship. Call us at 862-336-2275 or go to our store at discogs.com backslash seller backslash golden spins backslash profile. We can find whatever you may need. We proudly accept PayPal and every major credit card. Welcome back from our break, guys. Um, so we're going to close this episode out 
um, this long, long ass fucking episode. It has been a long episode. Yeah, sometimes <laughs> I'm sitting there going, "What the fuck?" Um, uh, Dad, you said we for our closing arguments. You, you have a, a question again this week to propose to us. What What is your question? My question basically is: Is this? Do you believe this is all connected together as far as built by the New World Order, built by the the um, the Illuminati? The, <laughs> Thank you. Okay, just to, to, I'll throw that out there. Built by the Illuminati. And do you think these tunnels do exist? And are they being used for what we think they're being used for? Or is it just what they say? This is an airport that overran, the budget was overrun, and basically we, you know, um, we didn't know what we were doing, but uh, we built the tunnels, and now we're not using them anymore. So, so tunnels. That's my question, and I'll start it with you, yeah, Joe. Hold on. Let's see. So, are the tunnels are used for what they? You, you pose like five different questions. I'm sorry. I'll, I'll, I'll read his <laughs> digest it for you. Okay. No, I mean like both. That, did you get that? Yeah. Okay. You okay. Did. Of course he did. All right. Of course he did. Is the are the tunnels that we know are real? Do you believe that they're trying to tell us something with the murals, and these? are connected to outside sources. Do you believe that map? Or do you think it's just what they say it is? Well, it's just the tunnels okay, and now I, they're closed. I, I, I do I do believe um, that the tunnels are used for something other than what they say they're being used for. Just for the alone, the fact, again, I know it's coincidental, I guess you could say, but if you have three major billionaires and all their you know, all their ranches are connected to these underground tunnels, which are connected to NORAD, which are connected to Area 51. There's something going on there. All right. There's, there's definitely something going on. And as far as it, if the New World Order or Illuminati, if you want to call them, are, are oh, having... Oh, soul and body. Yeah. If they're anything to do with, you know, the building of uh, uh, Denver International Airport or anything with it, mm-hmm. bro, it was built by the New World... Uh, the, the New World Found uh, or Commission, New World Commission, right? Airport Commission. Yeah, the New World Airport Commission. Like they're just saying, yeah, look, look, uh, fuck you. That's exactly what they're doing. Plain sight. It, it's saying, and you know, this is what we're doing. We're going to do it in front of you, and this is, and we don't care if you like it or not, because you know why? Because people are not going to believe. People are not going to believe you. Yeah. All right, and especially with the murals. I'm sorry. Again, I will say it. Like I said before, the Nazi mural alone. With what looks like mother, uh, the mother of God, holding a dead Jesus, and the fucking thing is uh, is stabbing a dove. There's there's, there's something going on there. Yeah, I agree. So with I, I do believe witches. that there is some. I don't know if it's witches. I don't know if it's witches, but I do believe something's going on, and I think all these are connected to one another. Like I said, like, like we said in the season four, episode one, these episodes are going to connect with each other somehow, some way. Josh. I think I'm terrified. I can tell you that. <laughs> um, Stop uh, being a bitch. Okay. First of all, let him answer. Yeah. Secondly, I'm only saying I'm terrified because of the fact that us as a species is easily distracted because these things, as we've said before, is in plain sight. Oh, turtle. They're doing basically whatever they want at any given time, and we're never going to question it. Mm -hmm. And I think with that being the motif of the government and billionaires and everybody else, I think there really is something going on. I believe that those tunnels may have at first been for a different purpose, but now they're being repurposed to use for whatever they want. I can't say if that map is a hundred percent accurate because we don't know what time it's from. It looks a little old, but if there is any type of connections whatsoever, then that would make me believe even more that something's going on. Um, like I had said before, with the whole uranium and stuff like that, that could have been maybe the original intent, as I said. But now it, they could literally be transporting bombs, aliens, technology, whatever they want. Mm-hmm. It's to right me, under all of the nose. above. Yeah, alien technology bombs. <laughs> yeah, all of that. It's 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 a terrifying thought to actually sit there and think about. Yeah. Humans. Okay. Now we're gonna turn our attention to Mister Two Word. 
Okay, can you give us a small sampling of? Well, do I you agree with it or do you not? Bro, do you believe or you do not believe? Whole, whole okay, this what I, this the, the, I, I'm oh, putting my history foot down. goes on for a fucking hour now. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm putting my foot down. I believe that these motherfuckers are fucking with some shit. They really are, bro. Like that's some straight up witchcraft. Demon shit that they fucking with the damn horse, the red eye, the to red do eyes. With witchcraft listen, this entire listen, episode. listen, listen. It has all. It has everything to do connected to the new world order because all the motherfucker, motherfuckers, pra- motherfuckers practice black magic and shit. So I believe, yes, I do believe. You wanted it and you got it. <laughs> so basically, what he done now? He's just actually. <laughs> He just woke up. He just told us all about our Halloween episodes with the black magic and the witchcraft to somehow connected to Denver International Airport. And you know it's what? It's all connected. You are, you are, a, a, you are a legend. It is in plain sight. <laughs> you are a fucking legend, and we should all be honored to have such a legend in our midst. You know what? Everyone is, you might be scared, but we are going to connect, connect I'm these too. details. Shit. And you know what? We're going to, we're going to burst it out open. Is this real? Is going to get to the bottom of it. Well, take us home, buddy. Yes. Yeah, so if I go missing, you know that it was the FBI. That yeah, you know what? Black. I just want to say that with all the shit that I've been saying tonight. If we if, go, if we go missing, something happened to us or uh, apparently we yo, I will, ourselves. Okay. No, no, no. I, if our videos are taken off of YouTube, I will blast every one of them. I swear to you, if they come off of, of YouTube, you know we're on to some shit. Well, I, we be fucking with some shit then. We, we, I, we be fucking with some shit. We gonna have niggas knocking only, on our doors I, and shit. Like, I yo, only got you talking one thing to much? say. I only have one thing to say. If by any chance the government does come after us, I'm letting this be on the record. I'm going down. Wait, I ain't going down without no, a fight. No, shut up, Eric. <laughs> if the government is gonna come after us for doing all this. Wait until after September 5th. That's when I come back from vacation, okay? I don't care about anything Don't else. tell them where you're going on vacation. No, I, homie. No, I'm not telling them. I'm you ain't saying, coming back from Puerto Rico, that, bro. Uh, and you just ruined it. <laughs> you ain't coming back. They're going to fly him regardless, bro. They everywhere. They got tunnels. Uh, that's what I'm saying. You nah, can do not it. Even they're they're going to look at his passport and go, <laughs> nah. Hey, nah. moron. You don't need a passport to go to Puerto Rico. They're going to look at your ID, though. Do you have an ID? Anyway... What are we doing? Oh, Going home? Can we go home radio, now? Bro. No. Yes. Um, so, like usual, uh, you're going to see this on YouTube. Our Instagram, follow our Instagram. The lights are flickering. I'm not liking this. Follow our, our Facebook. Go to our Etsy page. That has actually now eBay. It's on eBay, too. Um, My bird please, just Please, guy, uh, buy. <laughs> guy. Guy. Buy our shit. Come on, guy. Buy so, our shit. Good night, everyone. Oh, yeah, good night. Good night, everybody. Question everything. Konnichiwa, bitches. It's Ryu West speaking. If you want to find out more about the Is This Real podcast, follow us on Facebook at facebook.com slash isthisrealpc or on Twitter at isthisrealpc or on Instagram at isthisrealpodcast, all one word. <laughs>